everyone let's see how we can make a beautiful terracotta statement tree now this is a subscriber request and um, let's see how we can begin uh, this is a basic ring base you get these in most craft stores hobby stores uh, firstly let's begin with making the slab for the uh, ring the slab is of a thickness of 0.3 centimeters using a round shaped cookie cutter I cut out the shape smoothen the edges as well as the uh, front using the fettling knife you've seen me do that a couple of times now using the ring I create a bit of a dent uh, at the back just widen that dent a little bit along the sides because what will happen is Clay shrinks at two stages, one when it is drying and the second time when it is fired. So when it shrinks, it will come down a little bit in size. So once that's done, uh, I'm just going to do these fine designs at the edges using the needle tool and that's pretty much it. I'll let this dry now and once this is dried, it's fired in an electric kiln. After it's fired, we can begin painting upon this. Now this is the dress that I wanted to customize um, and make this ring uh, with this kind of a circular design. It's a beautiful uh, stitch work, it's, it's a lot of uh, hand work and I, if I'm not wrong I think this is a Kantha, uh, Kantha style uh, kurta. So these are the paints uh, that I have um, laid out. This is, a, this is the fired one and uh, these are the brushes. I'm just going to be using my liner brush most of the time. Uh, the paints that I'm going to be using are white, deep green, light olive green, orange and red. All acrylic. In a palette, I uh, take a little bit of all of these. I need very little quantity. I'm going to be mixing more of the olive green and a little bit of the deep green in order to get that precise color um, of the kurta. Do you see? It's the... I, you know, I was so happy when I managed to get that exact color. So uh, the rest of the painting work that's done on this is uh, only with the help of my liner brush. And if you see the movement in which the brush is going, um, it's, it's almost like, you know, I'm drawing something zigzag. The idea is to make it look a little bit um, imperfect or uh, I would say more like a stitch. I mean, this is, I think this is probably um, customization to the T, if you have to really say it. So the other thing is, uh, with regard to the uh, dilution of these paints, uh, they are not very heavily diluted because if they are too runny, what might happen is that it will be very difficult for me to get these uh, fine designs done in place. Um, the manner in which my this this kind of a movement is going is like this i mean it's it's more like zigzag zigzag it's just like that yeah it's it's like that and that's how i'm getting these triangular forms you know it's it's a very small diameter that's there <laughs> so yeah so now that the painting part is done uh, it's time to varnish this is the product i use give it a good shake and transfer a little bit of the contents into a bowl or bowl or a container and varnish I varnish it everywhere, the sides, the back, everywhere. And now it's time to uh, stick them together. I use E6000 and uh, even for this, obviously, we let the glue dry for three days before I can use it. And that's it. It's as simple as this. Doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? And I think this is literally, uh, you know, customized jewelry. Um, I was quite happy with the uh, end result and the fact that the colors matched so well. So uh, I really hope all of you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for watching. Please do let me know what you think of it in the comment section. Uh, once again, thank you very much.